Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am in Winfield, Tennessee at a place called Possum Trot. Possum Trot is a western themed town that all year round does different themed events. And this particular weekend they are doing a horror movie themed get together. There's going to be food trucks, there's going to be vendors, there's going to be a saloon, there's going to be horror movies outside in the field all weekend long. This is going to be an amazing event. I've got friends here with me. I've got the wife and the youngest daughter here with me. But for right now, I'm going to take y'all and show you Possum Trot, Tennessee. our cabin. We're over the old timey photo saloon. All right, so this is how the cabin is set up. One bed right here. I'm going with you. This set up over here. Little kitchen set up. And table. And the most important thing, the air conditioner. Are we gonna have the next All right, now that you've seen the town, we're getting ready to kick this weekend off, but we can't kick the weekend off without introducing my special guest for the weekend. Somebody's already guessed who it was going to be. Mr. It's Fish. Mr. Fish. Hey, guys. <laughs> Glad you're here. We are gonna have such a good time this weekend. We're getting ready to go walk around and check this place out and uh, check out some of the vendors and stuff. So we're gonna kick off our fun-filled and scary weekend here at Possum Ooh. Trot. Ooh. Spooky. So join us for this amazing time. Here's the bathroom. Not terrible, but it does seem to have a little trouble flushing. I don't know what this is, and I'm not sure I want to know. There's so many possibilities. Not many of them are good. What's in here? And then there's the shower. So tomorrow, we'll figure out. So this is the view from our cabin. We've got our cook station set up here to make breakfast in the morning. Not a lot going on tonight. Let's hope this slow Friday is not a reflection of the rest of the weekend. Look at this, we are right inside this valley. Such a neat location. Yes. 
on occasion. <laughs> but you want soda pops or alcohol? Alcohol. I've got Miller Lite whiskey. No, no, that'd be sorry about. All right. All right, you guys got a text receipt on the way. Thank you. Thank you. We're getting ready to do the costume contest and the entire area has just lost power and I'm not just talking about Possum Trot. The entire community has lost power. You know you're out in the sticks when they tell you that the power is out all the way to Walmart. We gotta wait and figure out what's gonna happen here because Jeremiah and his girlfriend Kat and DL all have entered into the costume contest and we're gonna see what happens with that. But until there's power restored, you can see the stage behind me. I'm not really sure how that's gonna go. So let's see what happens. Stick around. This is just day one, and it gets more and more interesting all the time. So we're not gonna let that spoil our good time, are we? No, we're not. So are you ready to get started with our 2024 Camp Dreadwood costume contest? Yeah! The ghost with the most and his Woo! From your nightmares to Christmas demon Krampus! Woo! Everybody hold on to your hats and don't lose your heads, it's Lizzie Borden! What you doing? Seeing if they need an axe. <laughs> oh yeah! We got a We got a Let's go! So we are at day two of Camp Dreadwood. We got up this morning, had some breakfast burritos. Look, DL's tagging along behind. Excuse me, I'm a hot mess. 
We got up this morning, Mr. Fish made his famous breakfast burritos. We've had two rounds of coffee already this morning. And we just sat around the cabin talking and hanging out and catching up on old times. So now we're walking down to the stage to see what kind of show is going on this morning. So we'll bring y'all back in throughout the day to show what's going on at Camp Dreadwood. I can't say for sure, but I feel like there might be some voodoo going on here. We're being followed by the sheriff right now. So. The law is after us. Not yet. I've been getting the weirdest feeling for a little while that I'm being watched and I don't know why. It's like there's somebody out there just looking at me or something. No. What you got there, Mr. Fish? I got strawberry lemonade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, with some of that French fried tater. Don't forget the mustard. Toss. Tits and ass? Tits and ass. Okay, yeah, T and A, baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is it good? What'd you get? Um, I got triple berry, and then we have the strawberry for Appreciate Thank it. you. I hope y'all like that Brazilian. The location of Possum Trot here is really a beautiful spot. It's right in this little valley. You kind of look up and see the hillsides and all the trees, and I can imagine in another month the color that's going to be here. The weather's been a little bit warm while we're here, but it's not terribly hot. But I do feel like we're sweating constantly while we're here. Fortunately, there's good air conditioner in the cabin. But it's been really fun walking around here and filming all the costume characters and all the people that are just kind of playing along. And then came the shootout. Nobody gets hurt. Yeah, y'all heard my brother. My name is Big John Coyote. And this right here is my brother Little John. And we're going to be robbing y'all on this fine day. What in tarnation is going on up here? <laughs> Good people. The banditos 
Lewis have been slain. Please go back to your merriment and good times here at Dreadwood. <laughs> There have been musical acts of different varieties, and who knew that Appalachian rap was a thing? Apparently it is. My dad's full moon, feel it in my blood, swear I will attack, I'm a mean mother yeah. You can tell by the way I gleam, motherfucker. Get a picture of me getting video of you. <laughs> All right. And of course, we've got Jeremiah constantly doing his thing, running around taking pictures. There's a little something for everybody at this thing. There's a band that calls themselves the Spooky Ooze. They are a paranormal honky-tonk band. Never heard of that genre of music before, but uh, they're here. But overall, so far, it has been a lot of fun. Just the ability to sit around, sit on the balcony of the cabin and watch the people in the town below and enjoy the air conditioning and just time to visit with friends. It has made this entire thing worthwhile just to get to spend the time with them. We made new friends as well, like this guy here that collects the toll. At the, how much is it to cross the bridge? I don't have enough. Show me what you made. Uh, made me a stick. A slicer stick. This is really cool. Can hammered it, got some runes, hammered on the back, twisted it. Sweet. The sun is starting to set on day two of Camp Dreadwood. It's been a really fun day, and it seems like the smaller crowds kind of led to the staff enjoying themselves a little bit more. They were kind of able to come out of their shells and spend the day interacting with the people that were here and getting to know them, making for a much friendlier experience. And of course, as the day went on, the shenanigans increased.
It's a gorgeous and sunny Sunday morning here at Possum Trot. Camp Dreadwood is officially over and everybody is loading up their stuff, getting ready to head home. I'm just gonna take a little stroll down here since there is almost nobody left here. There's just a handful of folks that are packing up, but there's really nobody else here on the property. So my feelings about the weekend is this was a super fun event. It was not as big as I had anticipated it being, but in a way that was good. Everybody in my group expressed how much they enjoyed the fact that this was not an overly crowded event and it was very laid back and relaxed. The ladies spent a lot of time in the cabin just kind of lazing about in the air conditioning and visiting with each other. Mr. Fish spent a good bit of time out doing photography and of course I was running around with this thing. We got to spend some time with one of the owners and we had a nice long conversation about doing this again next year. So if you're watching this video and this looks like something you would like to do, go to the Possum Trot social media and subscribe to it so that you'll be aware when they start posting information about dates, cabin rentals and such for next year's event. Not everything about the weekend went off without a hitch. We did have a couple of issues. The ladies' bathhouse didn't really have hot water all weekend. So right now, Mr. Fish is sitting in front of the men's bathhouse so that our ladies can go in and get a hot shower before we hit the road. So that was probably the biggest issue that we had this weekend. Bathrooms in general are not a plenty in this place. There are two bathhouses, and in those bathhouses, there are two toilets and two showers. So if it's a crowded weekend, then getting to the showers, getting to the clean toilets could be an issue. The other side was that the saloon didn't have any real drinks. They had a lot of canned drinks and things like that. Uh, they had Cokes and water, of course, but they also had a few canned, they had some beer and some seltzers and things like that, but it would have been nice to actually have a real western style beverage while we were here so that was one thing that was a little disappointing but you know we didn't suffer for it we still had a good time the staff here is amazing they're so interactive and so much fun and so accommodating of everything they really were just really laid back and really nice and good folks to hang out with for the weekend we got to just talk to quite a few of them and just get to know them and it makes for a much more personal experience at something like this we really did have an amazing time. It was it was a lot of fun, and it was a, a neat event, a very unique event. It's not something that we get to do very often. So let me give a huge shout out to the owners and the staff at Possum Trot for putting on this amazing event, for being so welcoming of me and my party, and for showing us a really good time. But now I've got to go get the car so we can start getting it loaded up and get checked out of our cabin. There is a pot of fresh coffee waiting there, so I'm going to go grab me some of that, then start packing up the car and get back home. So, Mr. Fish, did you have a good time this weekend? So much of a good time. <laughs> what was your favorite part? I don't know. The actors were above and beyond where yeah, they could have been. They, they were pretty awesome. They didn't get out of character. Uh, everybody just had so much fun. The horror movies in the middle of the woods was pretty spooky. And it was just, just so much fun the whole weekend. And winning third place in the costume contest. Yes, third I mean, place in the costume epic. contest. And it's kind of awesome. DL got second place. Got second place. Oh, she, her That's costume right. was amazing. That was so much fun. We're fixing to have to go our separate ways. We're, we're starting to get the cars loaded up and everything. And this is always the worst part of any of these outings is that we know that he's going to go a couple hours north of here. I'm going several hours west of here. And it's going to be a little minute before we get to see each other again. So I wanted to make sure Mr. Fish got a chance to sign off for this video before we closed it out. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Buddy. So that's it for this outing at Camp Dreadwood at Possum Trot in Winfield, Tennessee. If you like this video, please be sure and give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you can be made aware of all upcoming videos. And until the next one, prepare for the world that you live in, not the one you wish existed. We'll see you around.